is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Um, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, in today's video, we will be fixing my misfire issue. Now, this is going to work for every S1, uh, S550 if you just did a clutch job. So, I'm plugging in the OBD2 right now. Clutch in. Um, Service functions. Relearn vehicle that oh miss one. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. Now it's gonna relearn it. Okay, cool. Follow the procedure. Set ignition switch to off. Okay. On yet? Not on yet. No, I said off. The communication check the following and recharge. Engine stay all cables and connections secure. five seconds if engine does not start okay failure take the falling and retry they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand many unbearable hours later all right y'all so i got the battery uh jump box on it right now so we're gonna see if that helps so you can switch in the on position and press okay Wait. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so now communicating, communicating. Let it do its thing. Then you hit uh what was it again? Special functions, uh, power train. Then it was service functions, misfire neutral, profile correction. Go ahead and press OK. Start the engine for five seconds. Uh, if the engine doesn't start, then you gotta crank it. Started the engine. Okay. Processing. to clear the code first okay hold on y'all all right guys so i'm gonna show you guys how to clear the code on one of these code readers basically you put the car in the on position you hit diagnose go to the obd2 let it do its little test real quick okay there's a check engine light on you press okay you press so let me show you how the codes we got right now generic misfire you're gonna press escape you're gonna press erase codes press ok make sure the ignition is on with the vehicle off press ok okay so the check engine light should have been cleared i turn the car on wait what What the hell? No, 
Chef position system not learned. Next. Okay, so they're just not learned yet. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, so we good. It's not. <clears throat> As long as the misfire code is not on, that's what we want to be off. And you pull this one back out. Go ahead, plug that in. Pull this out. Okay. Misfire neutral. This ain't no joke, y'all. It's hot, that's why. Hit that joint again, come on. Okay. That's misfire. Okay, then start the engine. Okay. Let's just wait. It's ready. In order to learn. Take the jump box off the car, close the hood, and take it on test drive real quick, and we'll see. All right, y'all. So, just relearned. Uh, well, had the car relearn itself. So we're gonna go ahead, take it on a quick test drive, and see if everything is good. Everything should be straight on the car, but I just want to make sure um, and be a hundred percent. So I'm gonna try to open it up a little bit. I'm um, still on the break in miles. All right, you guys, so right now on the first test drive, um, just to make sure everything is good. It says that, you know what I mean? It relearned uh, the crankshaft and everything so that it'll, you know, relearn the misfiring and stuff like that. So hopefully, I'm hoping that it actually fixed the issue, taking it on a quick little test drive to see if the check engine light is gonna come back on again or if we're actually good. So we're in third gear. All right, boys, I don't know why, but my camera keeps like cutting out on my phone. But basically, um, I don't know how much you guys were able to see in the last clip before it freaking cut out. But basically, got the car up to um, about 3500 rpms in third gear at about 60 miles per hour shifted into fourth uh that's usually when it would start misfiring um but perfect man it was smooth as butter the car actually felt healthy like you could literally feel the motor um shaking and losing power whenever it would do that so uh i'm super happy that i got it fixed if this video helped you out um, you know what I'm saying? With your issues with your S550, man, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know if you guys have been through this before or if this is just as new to y'all as it is to me, man. But that's exactly what I'm here for, man, to, you know, show you guys the process every step of the way. Uh, take you guys on the journey with me, man, with uh, whatever build I have. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on for the kid trying to hit that 3K, man. 
and y'all can help me do it. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. As you guys can see, man, it says it right here. After completing repairs, perform misfire, monitor neutral profile, correction procedure using diagnostic scan tool.